Hello, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Antapon Chantrato. I'm working as the nuclear medicine technologist at the National Cyclotron and Pest Center at the Julapon Hospital. It's just an honor to be here and sharing my experience about the quantitative analysis of the brain molecular imaging. Uh, today, I will present uh, regarding the main topic for my research. Uh, my research is the quantitative analysis of tau deposition using F18 PI2620 dynamic pet acquisition in the cognitively normal subjects and my cognitively impairment and also the Alzheimer disease patients. Uh, this presentation will be presented into four sections here. And I have to say that for my work, I focus mostly on the technical and the numeric data, also the technical aspect of the imaging analysis. And let's go to the first part, the background and the introduction. Uh, for the diagnosis of neurodegenerative disease uh, is already it's, it's well known that the Alzheimer disease is the most common neurodegenerative disease and the hallmark of the pathogenesis is linked to the is linked to the amyloid beta and tau protein uh, the tau protein deposition uh, the various types of neurodegenerative disease could share the same clinical symptom due to the overlapping you could see here of the pathogenesis. And however, each neurodegenerative disease requires a specific treatment and the patent management, so the differential diagnosis for each diseases become the challenging and important issue. Uh, the myeloid beta and neurofibrillary tangle, uh, which is generated from the hypophosphorylated tau protein, uh, is, can be visualized by the proton emission tomography with the high potential for the uh, diagnosis and for the detecting. I just would like to briefly introduce about the PET machine. Um, the PET machine can detect uh, just for detection of the gamma uh, emitting in the 360 degrees from the patient. Uh, by using the raw shape of detectoring and then we can uh, reconstruction the images into the 3D and I have to say that the PET uh, CT machine providing very high sensitivity and high resolution um, compared with the spec or the spec CT and particularly we love to use the PET CT for the uh, pet neural imaging uh, the, and, the, and the pet images sh uh, sh is showing here after the acquisition the pathologic area with the uh, high tau deposition or the amyloid deposition will be light enough and these are uh, the images of the uh, molecular imaging uh, this image is the uh, amyloid beta deposition by using the, the floor beta band or the neurosect and this is for the, the tau detection the tau deposition detec detection by using the PI2620 and this is the brain metabolism by using the FDG and uh, you may see that the deposition of this patient the tau protein deposition at the hospital is correlated to the hypometabolism of the FDG and also the deposition of the amyloid beta in the occipital area here. Uh, for the radio pharmaceutical, for recent years, various types of radio tracers uh, presenting the specific binding to the tau have been invented. The most well-known might be the TSK family, which is the first generation tau tracers. Uh, actually, our center used to perform 
the examination with the tracers and then after we could synthesis the PI2620 under the collaboration with the Lice Morigma Imaging Company, we replaced the old generation to the second generation tau tracer in this place. This in this plus is the MK six two four O and PI two six two O. The second generation tau showing superior potential, and so now we are using the PI two six two for the tau imaging in every cases. Um, when we consider the disadvantages of the old generation tau tracers such as the THK family, so may even they have demonstrated the very strong binding and the correlation to the tau according to the postmortem, the non-specific binding to non-pathologic regions in the normal brain tissue the such as binding to the mal eight or mal B uh, can interfere with both visual and quantitative analysis and may lead to the misdiagnosis of the patient. Uh, this is the example of the utilization of f 18 hk 5351 These are the example of the negative patient show, showing the, the of target binding in the uh, midbrain and the porn and the medulla here and the cervical vein area our physician would look for the abnormal deposition in the early detection of the Alzheimer disease in this area is in this area is the inferior temporal region uh, the off target binding uh, by but to the basal ganglia and midbrain is mostly related to the mouth B in, in those areas. On the other hand, due to the very high specificity of the tracer, the subtle retention to the normal brain tissue is showing here. There is a little uptake or almost none of the uptake in the brain for the normal uh, subjects. And this is a good example of the positive pattern. You may clearly see that the high intensity uptake at the temporal here, and the parietal here, and also the occipital round here is also shown. Uh, why there is almost no uptake in the rest of the cortical bone, uh, of, of the cortical brain. Uh, so the objective of this study is to assess the um, quantitative analysis of PI2C2 in cognitively normal subjects and those with my quantitative impairment or the MCI and the AD, uh, particularly to the quantitative value uh, by using the standard dices of take value ratio. The methodology the number of the participants in this study is 69. The individuals in the CN group were verified by neurologists and neuropsychiatrists. There has no history of psychological or neurological disease, uh, psych psychoprotic drug use, or the cancer within the last five years. And also score to, uh, 24 to 30 on the Thai version of the multi or quantitative assessment. And for the subject with AD, were assessed and diagnosed by the clinician using the National Institute on the Aging Alzheimer Association category for probable AD. Magnetic resonance imaging were performed for all participants. After that, all the participants undergo with the two imaging inspection. First is the MRI acquisition and then the PET imaging acquisition. The MRI acquisition, we use the T1 3D with the high resolution or the T1 3D implant for the image fusion in the quantitative analysis. This is the most important sequence we will use for the quantitative analysis. And for the PET imaging, we uh, we were, we, were uh, we inject 
around 5 MCI of PI2620 and use the uptake time about 30 minutes and acquisition time in the dynamic list mode for 45 minutes in every patent. And after that, we export the data into the semi semi quantitative analysis software. In this study, we use the PMOR software for the image fusion and for the app, app, applying the VOI template. Uh, the analysis window showing here from the PMOS uh, identified the multi regions on the right hand side and the fusion images between PET and uh, MRIT1. Uh, the workflow of this software is automatically set up pre on every uh, analysis and the T1 MRI data set is the correlation to the fusion of the MRI to the pet brain and then normalized by using the MNI space template uh, the volume interest according to ALVI will apply in the final process uh, the selected regions will be calculated into the SGBR the relative to the gray matter of the cerebellum. The utility of the SGBR, uh, the first, the uh, SGBR is calculated according to this equation. Uh, cerebellum gray matter uh, normally considers as the reference brain region in pet neuro neurodegenerative disease study. Uh, due to the subtle effect of the Alzheimer's disease and also the law of target binding in small neural radio tracer. And regarding the, the example of using the SDVI in the clinical practice, we usually compare the SDVI that we get from the subject to the SDVI mean from the normal subject and we may use the cut point around the two standard uh, to the standard deviation from the mean and it is important to uh, re, uh, consider that the more specific of the subject group and the more accuracy and the precision of the SUR when you use the quantitative analysis these are the regions we selected for the quantitative analysis. There are the 18 regions uh, presenting here uh, of this area were selected according to the bar staging which describe the spreading of tau protein in the Alzheimer disease. And the result and discussion. Uh, the mean SGBR and SD is showing here. The table displays the mean SGBI in various regions. It is interesting that for the uh, for the NC versus the MCI, there is no statistically significant difference between the MCI and NC group. And but however, in the AD groups, uh, they showed outstandingly high SGBI when comparing between both the NC and the MCI. Uh, the area that shows significantly high SGBI, including fusiform teras, inferior temporal, lingua, occipital, precuneus, and uh, parietal. The SGBI in most region of the NC is around 1.1, and the lowest is around 0.8 at the coordinate here. Uh, in the same way, the MCI SGBI is around 1, and the lowest still be at the coordinate at 0.77 while the AD group SGBI is more over than 1.2 to around almost 1.5 in the first form. The graph is showing the overall picture of the SGBI value. We may notice that all the observed regions for the MCI and the NC group is below 1.2 but when we look to the significant brain regions in the AD group here, uh, the SUBI in origin is higher than 1.2, and there we and here we still see that 
the lowest value is at the coded in all group of subjects. Uh, more than that, we also interpreted the result in the correlation to the visual analysis. Uh, in the picture A, the fusion images between the PI and the T1 bit MRI of the AD subject uh, show the intentile deposition in the bilateral temporal and the occipital region. And for the picture B, is the fusion images between the PI and the T1 images in the same group. There is no uptake of the PI in the bilateral stratum, thalamus, or the Y matter. And even the whole cortical region uh, is subtle. Uh, we may see the subtle of target binding in the midbrain here and also the singlet gyrus. Our result is also correlated to the previous study of PY. In the arrow is the SUVR images of normal subject. When visualized, the images correlated to the SUVR scale bar here. The SUVR may be around 1 or maybe up to T or 4 in the Alzheimer's disease subject in the row B. Uh, in the discussion class, so we can interpret that the AD group shows significantly higher SUVR in the significant brain region, including the fusiform gyrus, inferior parietal, lingual, occipital, precuneus, and parietal region. This outcome also consistent with uh, other researchers such as the Muller. Uh, who describe the high SUVR of the ADU group in the comparable area, uh, including the first form gyrus, the inferior temporal, and the occipital regions. Um, in addition, our outcomes also show the higher SUVR in the region with the compatible with the bug staging for tau spreading. The spreading described by the deposition in the fusiform gyrus for the state, state 3 and then go to the inferior temporal gyrus in the state 4 and to the occipital in state 5. Um, uh, about the non specific binding, uh, the subtle uptake access from both visualization and the quantitative analysis. Uh, is good as a fun of the superior value for the second generation tau tracer. Uh, this is good quantification analysis uh, due to the lower background uptake and improve the detect primary tau party disease such as the progressive supranuclear palsy due to the low uptake at the midbrain and the basal ganglia. Um, however, there might be something need to be reconsidered here. Uh, the SUVR in our observed regions of the brain in the CN and MCI group uh, were not statistically significantly different. Uh, this might be linked to the various factors such as uh, the diversity of the observed population resulting to variation of the brain structure or maybe the technical factors involving the quantification technique, uh, the smoothing of the picture, the parameter applying to the normalization, uh, they may interfere with the subtle focal uptake in the MCI and resulting into the lower SDVR when comparing to the CN group. For the conclusion, uh, we may conclude that the uh, higher mean SGVR in the AD group uh, and show tau protein deposits consistent with the bar staging uh, 3 to 5 classification. Moreover, the low background uptake in the Y matter is good for both quantification and visualization. The lower SUVR in the deep stratum and thalamus could be useful for the exclusion the primary tau parties 
uh, such as PSP. The quantification of the SUVR could be a significant means for improving the sensitivity and specificity of the diagnosis of related diseases. Uh, for the further study, uh, there might be the limit limited number of the participants in this study. So we still could not get the appropriate cutoff for the SUVR. Uh, in the future, we may conduct the, the longitudinal study or gather or uh, broaden the number of the participants, uh, particularly for the MCI with low tau. And then we could analyze the data by using the ROC curve for the establishment of the suitable cut point. The take home message uh, the semi quantification can improve the specificity and sensitivity when performing under the appropriate condition. Uh, the local normal database uh, is just for example, the H mesh or the SIG mesh uh, normal database uh, that used for a comparison with the uh, subject SUVR, or the uh, you need to set up the appropriate data acquisition, the uh, reconstruction parameter for the scanner, and the quantitative analysis tools such as the high potential uh, software. And in every case, uh, apart from the SUVI calculation, you still need to correlate the an, uh, visual analysis and clinical data to the quantitative analysis. That is the that is the most that is the best way for the uh, the diagnostic the neural degenerative disease in with the molecular imaging. Uh, um, in the last part, I just would like to quickly show you that how the inappropriate data may look like uh, for the picture A, the burning image from the head rotation during the scanning of the patient. Uh, you may see the ghosting image, it does look like the eye here, and the, the Im 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 images B. Uh, show is showing that the wrong VOI uh, applying to the severe atrophy for the parietal uh, or of these variation or of these uh, of these false false analysis may lead to and can impact to the uh, lower accuracy of the SUVR. Uh, that's all. Uh, that's of my presentation. Oh, please let me know if you have any question. Yeah, I will be happy to answer that. Thank you.